Okay, cool. So I'd like you to bring your arms up and open them out to the side. And I want you to brush your arms past your ears and open to the side. And as you do it, we're going to rise onto our tiptoes, reach the fingers, and then come back down. I want you to breathe in and take your eye gaze up, hold for a couple of seconds, and then exhale and take your eye gaze down. So breathing in, eye gaze looking up, and exhale as you bring your eye gaze down. Do that one more time. And then taking your feet a little bit wider, softening your knees. So almost like you're sat down, twisting. So you look one side, twist and look the other side. And just kind of letting your arms flop and hang loose, relaxed with your arms. But then going just a little bit further round with each one. then bringing your arms up and squatting down, just brushing your fingers against the ground, exhaling your day out, breathing in, breathing out as you drop. And I'd like you to do that twice more. Final one. And then if you can place your feet together and bring your hands on top of your knees. And then if you can circle down and around and back the other way. And do it again, down and around and then back the other way. And let's do that again. And just noticing how your knees are feeling as you circle. Just doing that one more time each way and then coming to stand on the one leg and you bring your knee up out lift at the back and sweep it through if you can keep your upper body still as you do it so knee up at the front out to the side lift it to the back and bring it through to the side, kick it back, and one more time. You get your glute active as you go back. Let's do that on the other side. So knee up, side, kick back. Up, side, kick back. Creaky hips on this side of the screen. We're going to do that twice more. And last one. And then taking the feet a bit wider and into a side lean. Sliding the hand down the leg. Breathing in as you come up. Breathing out as you lean. that top arm so extend through your fingers for me straighten your elbow and one more each way alrighty and then from there we're going to come down onto our back so if you can join me down on the mat and breathe in and breathe out are you looking for online classes that support you with getting more me time? You want to get supple, strong, feel less stressed, get in the driving seat, but actually 
Perhaps you've noticed that following videos on uh, YouTube isn't actually helping you commit. Uh, it's not like the teacher reaches out and says, um, correct your hips, bring your knee back, move your posture back. And this is the problem. So um, of course you can hit subscribe to get more from the Zig's YouTube channel, but let's face it, we're not gonna send our children to a school without a teacher or a tutor. I mean, what's their life gonna be like if um, they're gonna learn in that way? So uh, my name's Claire Louise Freeman. I'm the business owner of Zig's Exercise. And I like to encourage you to, to join me and my community online where we get together via Zoom and we practice Pilates conditioning, yoga stretches, mobility. And the thing is, we get to actually talk through this stuff. We get to do it together. And to me, consistently doing it together is the thing that gives us much, much better results than if we're left flailing around in front of a video trying to do it all by ourselves. So if you'd like more information about joining me and others, please reach out, get in touch. Um, you can work with us morning, evening, from the comfort of your own home. It's great because you get all the kit together at home and it does help you to practice in between as well. So um, I'm offering a complimentary kickstart call. Uh, we can talk through what's getting in the way, you know, why it's not worked so far. And um, sometimes the, the, the hardest bit is actually just picking up the phone and um, talking it through. So brave pants on. I work with all sorts of people from various walks of life, different shapes and sizes. And often people um, who do work with me do it because they say that I do it in a very non-judgmental way. Of course, it's free to talk. Uh, so you can click the link in the description box below and we can uh, get to know each other and see if we're a good fit. There's no pressure here. On the call, I'll listen in to, you know, what you need support with, what your personal needs are, and I can answer any of your questions about our online um, Pilates and yoga where we do it together in community. Why wait? This stuff doesn't get any easier as we get older. We work with lots of busy parents, um, grandparents, uh, business owners, NHS professionals, private school teachers, regular school teachers. Um, so if that feels like you and you need that support and accountability on getting it done, that's the thing. If we've got the sessions booked in regularly, that means we're much more likely to show up. And it's that regularity that people are often missing. You know, they take time off during holidays. Um, it, it's the commitment that gets the motivation. So why wait? Um, book in, give me a call and uh, I'll see you on the other side. We're going to bring our knees up to our chest and then bring them over and down, trying to close the gap between the knees and the arm. Take a deep breath in. Bring your knees up as you exhale. Drop your knees down to the other side. Deep breath in. Exhale as you bring your knees across. And as you take the breath in, I want you to breathe into your belly. Exhale, bring your knees across. Do it again. So get into the breath. Two more. So final one. Hello, Bertie. Mom. Yes. Harry, Harry Potter cookery book. Yeah. Can you go and talk to Daddy or Daddy. Elena? <laughs> Keep going. Okay, so from here, if you can come over to all fours. And I'd like you to reach your opposite arm away. Slight interlude. From there, if you can bring your elbow to your knee and then reach out again. Elbow to knee. 
and reach out. Okay, and you get a little bit of height on that back leg as you reach and extend through your toes and your fingers. So final one. And let's give that a go on the other side. Inhaling on the reach, exhaling on the round. Inhaling on the reach, exhaling on the round. Let's get some height on the back leg. Two more. And then from here, if we can meet in our downward dog. So we're going to hook our toes under, lift the tailbone up into the air. And just let your head drop between your arms, looking towards the belly. Breathe step your feet back another inch drop your heels down lift your tailbone and then from there eye gaze forward so you're now looking towards the front end of your mat breathe and then relaxing your shoulders and dropping your head so you look towards your belly breathe Eye gaze forward so the head comes up, look towards the front end of the mat and then tuck the chin in more so you look towards your belly. Breathe. Walking the feet towards your hands. And we're going to come down onto our back. Placing our hands here around the back of the head. Can you touch your elbow and your knee together? Do the same on the other side. So elbow to knee. Level two, we bring one up as one comes down like this. Third level, extending the leg. Breathing in for two, breathing out for two. Keep going, inhale for two, exhale for two. One more deep breath. <sighs> Alrighty, and then from there, if you can pop your hands just here on top of your knees and mobilizing our hips. So let your knees fall open, come back in, round and in. And let your back slightly arch and then tuck. Arch as you open the knees, tuck as you close them. And reverse, back in the opposite direction with the knee circle. Just close your eyes and really get into the feeling of what's going on in your joints today. Let your lower back sink into the ground. And just take a moment to set the intention for what you'd like to be feeling by the end of the session today. Alrighty, so from here, we're going to come up to our side plank. So if you can place your elbow underneath your shoulder and either start with your feet here in front, your knees in front of your hip for first level, we're going to take the feet behind so the chest and the knees are flush with each other. Lifting up, sweeping the arm. Can you bring it back by your ear? And then lower your body down. Inhaling on the sweep. Exhaling to come down. For those of you doing more advanced, it's straight leg lift. Concentrate on pressing your shoulder blades down away from your ears. Breathe. Keeping the head back to align your shoulders and stacking the hips one above the other. And we do that twice more. And final one, so building strength and stamina around the shoulders, down the side of the body. Getting that bottom shoulder a bit of a roll out. 
And then can we give that a go on the other side? So again, for level one, we place the knees here in front of your hip. Level two, bringing them back here with the feet behind. We want to make a fist here with the bottom hand so you can give that a good squeeze for me. And that's it, so squeeze as you lift and lengthen up with this arm. Head back and then lower. Breathing in on the lift. Sweeping the arm, exhaling as you lower. So if you're doing the straight leg version, you've got the top leg foot flat on the floor. Stacking the hips one above the other as you do it. Pressing the shoulders down away from the ears. We do that twice more, working on our strength and stamina down the side of the body. Alrighty, and then from here, we're going to place the soles of our feet together and take our hands just here around our ankles. We need to press down through your knees. Push your knees down and let your upper body just lean forward slightly. And then release the pressure off the knees. Now there's two ways we can lean forwards, either with a sort of rounded back like this, or what I'd like you to do is to elongate your spine like this. So as you lean forward, you're lengthening your back, pressing down through the elbows. Notice the difference in the feel that position versus the rounded position. Just do that one more time. Breathe. Alrighty, let's release and shake a leg. And we'll have a bit of fun with some rolling next. So if you can tuck your knees in, we're going to roll back. You can say wee if you like. You might not have said that today yet. And let it all hang out here. Level two, so we're going to hover the feet off the floor. Adding extension, lifting the chest. Next level, if you're doing that next level, point your toes quite firmly. The third level, more advanced today, we can do the legs akimbo version where we're like this, rolling back, coming up and back in, we extend out, roll it back, and we do that twice more, and final one, and back in, okay, good job. So, nice and warm now. We're going to come down onto our front for some cobras. So if you join me here, hands just slightly wider than your shoulder, and we're going to push the ground away and just notice how's your back feeling. Let your hips sort of weight down and then release. Spreading the fingers out against the ground, inhaling on the lift, squeezing the buttocks to give your back support and then lowering. With each one, maybe you'll push a little higher if your back is feeling happy and strong today. Reaching through your toes, tensing the muscles along the legs as you lift and hold at the top for three, two, one, and come back down. Let's do that again, lifting up, three, two, one, and back down. Do that again. And then from here now, we're going to push up with the hip. And you can either do it from your knees like this, where you lower again with your chest, or I want you to hover your knees like this just off the floor. And then go into your downward dog. And then re-hover your knees off the floor 
Or you can place your knees down and then lower your chest to the ground. So then from here, we're going to move to our cobra again and release. And then coming up with your hip, covering your knees if you like, or you can keep them on the ground. Eye gaze is forwards. And from there, lifting into our downward dog, pressing the heels towards the floor. And coming back to our knee hovered position with the chest open and the eye gaze forwards. Or you can drop your knees. Allow your chest to lower down. Switch to the cobra. Breathe in. Breathe out. Coming up. Hovering the knees if you like. Switching to our downward dog. Breathe. One more time through. Hover the knees. Allow your chest to lower. Cobra. Hovering. And meeting up in our downward dog. Breathing deeply. And we're going to take a walk with our feet towards our hands. Alrighty, so from here, we can go into wide leg position. Now it's up to you if you need a cushion or something just to give you a little bit of lift, then mark a cushion or a block, something just helps you maintain better form throughout your position. So wide leg, wriggle it so it's, you know, the edge of the comfort zone or somewhere around there. Pointy toes, arms up. And I'd like you to aim at keeping your body upright when you do the first rotation. We're going to flex our foot and then reach the opposite hand. And you get hold of it, or your shin or your ankle, nose to knee, and then Move to the center again as you point your toes. You try and be upright when you do the first turn and just hold for a second there. Flex the foot, get hold of something, drop the head, two, three, and then lift, breathing in at the top. Turn, exhale, tuck down, two, three, inhale, up. Turn, exhale, coming down, down, down. Breathe in, lift, turn, exhale, drop. Now, can you go a little bit further on your next few? You might go slightly wider. You might be doing just enough as you are. Go with what you feel you need, two, three. But remember, what you need is not often the same as what you want. Last couple. And final one. Alrighty, and then release. Give your legs a shake out. And we're going to come down onto our backs for some more core. Feet close in. Taking the arms over the top of the head so that your thumbs are touched on the ground. And I'd like you to bring your knees slowly up as you circle your arms back down by the side of your body. So we're going to lower the legs and simultaneously tap the toes and the thumbs down. Then do the circle again as we lift the legs. That's it. So pointy toes, thumbs to the ground, and then circling back in. Now explore your core on this one. You might take your feet a bit further away. Try to avoid your lower back going into overarch. Inhaling as you reach away. Exhaling as you circle. And in some ways, the slower the better with this exercise. It's 
sort of imagine myself moving in a big bubble on this one or something like that. Now notice that point where you hover just above the ground. That's where it can get interesting. And then we do two more. Breathe. And final one. And from there, if you can bring your right knee in, hug it to your chest, and then allow your leg to cross your body, placing your foot on the floor trailing this arm behind, pressing your knee down as you turn your head to look towards your back hand and breathe deeply. Let's release and give that a go on the other side. So good old back stretch, knee up to your chest bringing your foot across to feel for the floor, straightening your bottom leg out, trailing the arm behind. Deep breath. Pressing your back shoulder down, breathing into your belly. to the center and we're going to hug one knee into the chest and then switch and bring the other knee in so one knee into the chest hug it in with your hands and then switch to the other knee next level we're going to bring the nose up towards the knee like this think of lifting your chest rather than craning your neck forwards Give your knee a kiss. Breathe. Last couple. And final one. And then from there, if you can extend both legs down, so you're reaching your toes, interlock your fingers just here over the top of your head. That's it. And then turn your palms outwards. Little finger side. Touch down and arching your back. Breathe so your belly fills up with air, closing your eyes. Exhaling any tension and worries out. Filling your belly up with air as you inhale. And just coming back to that intention that you set at the start of the session. How you'd like to feel at the end of the session today. Breathing in positive, healthy energy. Alrighty, let's release. Uh, from here, we're going to find a drink. So now's a good time to top up on some water. You'll need your weights next. So we're going to do some work for our arms and our upper body. And then we'll give our legs a stretch. Excuse me. Okay, so find a weight that is a little bit of a challenge for you. Okay, so working on some squat technique, feet open. Toes facing either front or just slightly out. I'd like you to let your weight just hang loose at the side of you as you sit your bottom down and then come back up. If you can see yourself in your screen, notice what is the depth like in your squat. I think of almost sitting down on a low seat. And then for level two, we're gonna bring the weight up in front of the shoulder and then release. Come down and hold two, three, 
and then release. Now, as you sit into it and your arms come forward, it'll be harder to keep your core maintained. So notice what's going on around the midsection. And you keep a little bit of draw in, avoiding your lower back going into over arch. If you've got that good core control, then we're going to take the arms higher. So up by your ears. We really want that good feeling of the legs working in the thighs rather than the knees. If you're feeling it in your knees, sometimes it's because your body weight is shifted forwards over your toes. So aim to just bring it back into your heels. Just going to do that one more time. And then if you can shake a leg, drop your weights and find a stick. If you can hop your stick here along your back and we're going to move into doing quad stretches. The knees together. We really want if we've been doing our steps challenge this month and certainly can feel the difference in my legs and hips when I'm upping the mileage. I can't believe Zach's walked equivalent steps of over four marathons so far. I've got some catching up to do. I think I've done about two and a half so far. I'm going to add in a bit of a lean. So for those of you who want to test your balance, can you keep your heel on your buttock? And get some height on that back leg. Lifting for more height, for more advanced, straightening the arm so that the shoulder blade rolls backwards still keeping the stick attached to the head, the shoulders and the tailbone. And then can we swap to the other side with control? So knees together, heel to your bottom. Can you elongate your lower back as you do it? Squeeze the buttock muscles. We'll Add a bit of intensity into the stretch and then once you're there, adding the forward lean, getting some height on the back leg, getting more lift, straightening the back arm, breathe. And let's release and give our leg a shake. I'm going to place the stick down on one side. We'll do a standing glute stretch today. So this leg we're going to just cross it above the knee. I want you to sit down into it. You're going to sit your bottom down again almost like you're sitting your bum on a chair and just use your stick to steady yourself. Now with this hand over here, you can just apply a bit of pressure, pushing the knee out and down as you sit into it. Keep your body weight back in your heel. Breathe. And then let's release. And we're going to repeat on the same side. So for those of you who feel you need the stick there, then repeat that same side. For those of you who want to practice a slightly different level and version, we're going to drop the stick. I'm taking hold of this foot now with my opposite hand, pulling the heel towards the groin. And then this knee is now dropping down. So it's angling down this way or on the diagonal. And sort of squeezing the buttock forward. And so as we pull the foot up into the groin, and then the knee drops down. That's it, you're sort of opening your hip. Okay, good job. Let's shake a leg. Try and do a closer version of that, I think. Help. Conscious I've got a big screen. Remember, you can also plug your device in to using a HDMI cable 
or if you've got a smart TV, you can screen share from different Apple products. Um, but yeah, just ask me if you need any help with the tech. Definitely not my speciality, but I'll give it a go. So we want a foot there just above the knee. And then with this hand, we're pushed down. So you're sitting into it. That's it. So from a side view, it's like that, like a squat back position. And you're using the hand just to press the knee out. Bring the glute, a good old stretch. Body weight back into the heel. And then let's release, straighten the leg that we stood on. And then if you're doing the one with where you ditch the stick, you get hold with the opposite um, hand and pull it up towards your groin. And then we angle the knee down that way and sort of push your hips forwards so you're really opening a sense of opening out with the hip Oops, some of you with knee issues might not like that version though go with what you feel alrighty let's release have a shake now's a good time for some water we're going to move into doing some planking. Are we up for that? So coming down to your elbow, resting your knees on the floor and chest open. And then from there going up onto your hands and then back down to the elbow. And we can either keep this sequence going up, up, down, down on the knees we can do it on the toes so the knees are now lifted now as you get into the sequence your hips will probably want to rock a little bit I want you to keep your mind on keeping your hips as steady as you can so try to centralize your hips you do it without them moving too much It'll really get you tuned into your core more Last couple. Final one. And then from here, we're going to walk our feet towards our hands and we'll bring one foot to one edge of the mat and the other foot to the other edge like this. So we've got our feet really, the edges of the feet parallel to the mat there. Notice I've gone into a flat back position you'll need to square your hip bones up because the back leg hip will probably just wander off by itself somewhere now you can either stay with this version if you can see your back on your screen have a look can you open your chest and lift your tailbone if you want to go into more advanced we're going to bring our nose down to our knee and our hand hands to the ankle Laying your chest to towards your thigh. Breathe. And to bend into our front knee and now move the back foot in towards the middle of the mat. Keeping the opposite hand to the foot on the floor, turning the top arm up and away. Breathe. And then can you drop the back knee down on the ground and hook your toes at the back and take your arms wide. Let your hips sink down like this for me. That's it's a drop into it. Now you can either stay with this version. For those of you doing more advanced stretching now, we're going to catch hold of this foot behind and bring the heel in towards the bottom. This front foot may wibble around, so use that one to sort of plant down to help steady the balance. Breathe. And over time, we can wrap this elbow around. I'll probably 
you just show it off. Managed to actually get my mic hooked around the foot as well. That's what you get for showing off. Okay, so where do we start? Let's go over this side. Uh, feet parallel to the edges of the mat again. Can you get that flat back position? I'm gonna lean into it. Resting the hand. It's down on the mid thigh. Breathing deeply. Noticing where do you feel that good old stretch? Enjoy it. Breathe. Those of you doing more advanced, we allow nose to come down towards the knee, bringing the hand down to our ankle, laying the chest down onto the thigh. Bending into our front knee and taking the back foot down the middle of the mat. That's it. Opposite hand on the ground, turning away with our top arm, reaching the fingers, spreading them out, pushing the ground away with that hand that's on the floor, extending the back leg, breathing into the belly. And then dropping our back knee down, and hooking the toes here at the back, lengthening the arms. And if you can again, just drop your hips. So just kind of let them sink, enjoying the stretch. Breathe. And again, either staying with this version or if you want to give the other version a go, where we catch hold of the foot. We want that big toe sandwiched down on our front foot. And over time, just hooking the elbow around that back foot. Breathe. And let's release. Okay, good job. So we're going to come to um, think this through. So going to go one arm out to the side. I'm just trying to give you the best view. So yeah, let's do this arm out to the side. And my other knee has come up here. And I'm going to push the ground away. So I'm pushing my right hand into the floor and I'm turning my upper body like this towards the ceiling. So I'm sort of like an upper body cobra. I turn my head. I'm stretching into the pec muscles at the front of the chest. And we're going to release the upper body down. And we're going to do that again. So pushing the palm of the hand into the ground, we lift the upper body, turn the head up. Position of that hand can make a difference to the stretch. If you're not feeling it, play around with bringing it a bit higher up. And let's release. So we're going to swap arms. The other one extends out. Bend the other knee up. So your opposite knee is bent. And then with this hand on the floor, we're going to push the ground away. Turn the eye gaze up, pressing the palm firmly into the floor. And both palms pushing down. And let's release. And we're going to give that another go. So pushing the ground away with both palms, keeping the back arm straight, lifting the chest, turning to look over the shoulder. Let's release, bringing the upper body back down. 
moving to a seated position and we're going to place one hand just here on the top of the head turning the head towards the armpit sliding the hand around the back of the head bringing the chin in towards the armpit release, sliding the other hand onto the top, sliding the hand around the back of the head, and tucking the chin in. So from here, if you can join me down onto your back. I'd like you to place your hands on top of your belly. Close your eyes. And just taking a moment to tune in to the breath inside your belly. Rising forward. Deeper breath in through your nose so that your belly fills with air. And a longer exhale through your mouth. So you're blowing out, you can't blow out any more air. Do that again. So you fill up with air. And then exhaling all the way out and keep going until you can't blow out any more air. Let's do that again. Let your belly fill. fully empty. Let your breathing settle back to its natural pace. Relaxing the back of your head so it nestles down into the mat. Opening your teeth, softening your jaw. little muscles around your face. Running your attention along your shoulders and down your arms. Noticing the sensation around your hands, your fingers. spine is elongating as you relax down against the mat, feeling the heaviness of the bones of the hips and the pelvis against the ground. Feeling the connection of the feet against the floor. to relax down more deeply with each breath. Letting your attention drift. Drifting away. Just to imagine yourself walking in one of your favorite places in nature. in your mind, earlier in the studio we were talking about fruits that we picked out in nature, I was reminiscing about some figs that I picked on a holiday in a Greek retreat, I was picking them from the tree, I want you to imagine you're just picking one of your, your favourite fruits something that you really like to eat that's associated with a, a good time in your life. Bringing 
bring some of that feel good energy back into the room if you can open your eyes and just be mindful of the space as you lay on your back noticing what's in your peripheral vision right now to take a deep breath and when you're ready if you can roll over to your side and we'll just take a little wake up for our wrists so if you can go into kneeling position and we're going to turn our palms to face out that way and then place a little bit of pressure onto the hands to increase the stretch we bring the body weight back like this let's release and give our hands a shake out so i hope that's made a, a difference to your day if you can